Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm your host, Locum23. You are joining me for the Freshman Chapter 1 of the Christmas special, Snowed In. Happy Holidays, dear readers. To celebrate, we're releasing a special two-part holiday story for the Freshman. Please take note that the story takes place between the Freshman books 1 and 2. The events of book 2 haven't happened. We hope you enjoy this special holiday interlude. So just to let you guys know, unfortunately only Chapter 1 is currently available. Uh, chapter 2 will probably not be available until next week. And this is such a beautiful outfit. I love this. The snowflakes and the icicles and everything on on the uh, shoulders and, and neckline. I really love it. This one is like a typical outfit for her. Um, or at least a diamond option. I would love to do this one, but I digress. My look is totally perfect. Let's go. So I gotta name her. What's the name of our girl? Mizumi! It's the day before winter break, and Hartfield University is hosting its annual holiday craft fair in the park. This festival is really putting me in the spirit. I can't believe it's only seven days until Christmas. Only six until Hanukkah. And eight until Kwanzaa. Though... I'm celebrating quiz Christmas, too. Don't forget about Festivus for the rest of us. Everyone laughs except for Caitlin, who is too busy looking at her phone. Or to Caitlin, stop staring at your phone. Sorry, Abby, I was checking the weather again. Right. She puts her phone back in her purse. I can't believe it. Half the reason I came to school here was for snow, and it's... Only snowed once. Caitlin, I know it's awful. Be careful what you wish for. Despite what the movies want you to think, snow isn't that much fun. It's cold, wet, stops looking pretty really fast. Not to mention that it makes it hard to travel. If it were to snow tonight, we would be stuck here during the break. And probably the for the best that the forecast says no snow. You guys are such killjoys. Speaking as an expert on all things winter, you know what is guaranteed to cheer you up, Caitlin. What? Hot cider. There's a booth over there. Well, I guess it's worth a shot. You start towards the booth with the others, but Tyler tugs on your sleeve. The two of you take a step to, off to the side. What's up, Tyler? So, you know how we're doing the Secret Santa tonight? I drew Abby, and I can't decide what to get her. You waited until now to think about this? I've looked around at a few stores, but nothing seemed right for her. I was thinking I'd get something at the craft fair? Now I'm not sure what. Well, let's see what they have. You peruse the tables to see what they're selling. A pair of mittens, a bottle of masseuse oil, and a yellow Santa hat catch your eye. I think Abby would like... Yellow Santa hat is a no. Massage oil is a bit too soon for the relationship, since it's in between book one and two. Mittens. Wow, are those hand-knit? The girl at the booth nods. Perfect! Abby loves handmade stuff. She calls it a lost art. Tyler pays for the mittens, and the girl at the booth puts them in a gift bag. Thanks, Mizumi. That was surprisingly easy. Gotta wait up. Hide the bag so Abby doesn't notice? I don't, actually. I guess I'd better head back to the suite and get it under the tree. Oh, I'll see you later, then. Bye, Mizumi. You run to the hot cider booth to catch up with the gang. Hey, Mizumi! Sorry, Miss Chris and Caitlin. They already finished up. By the way, where's Tyler? Um... Hang on a second. Zack turns around and lets out a large sneeze. <clears throat> Still not ever that cold? I'm fine, just a little snuffly. The weekend was awful, though. I was going to go Christmas shopping. So, how's the cider? 
Should I get a cup? It's fantastic. But you might want to wait until later. I think there's something waiting for you under the mistletoe. You look over to see... Caitlin. You rush over to Caitlin and throw your arms around her neck. She kisses you softly on the lips. Your face heats up the chilly winter air. I might not have a white Christmas, but at least I can say one of my Christmas wishes came true. Just wait till you see your present. She takes your hand. Wow, your hands are freezing. I'm from Texas. I don't own a pair of gloves. Well, you know what they say. Cold hands, warm heart. Caitlin grins and inclines her head towards you, giggling as the cold tips of your noses touch. Under the mistletoe, you and Caitlin celebrate holidays with a kiss. I really wish I knew if this was a girl or girl. You turn around to see Vasquez standing right behind you. Oh, I'm Professor Vasquez. I'm here to remind you that I expect a ten-page paper at the start of next quarter detailing what you did over the holidays. <sighs> yes, Professor Vasquez. Very well. I'll see you in January. Vasquez turns to leave. Professor Vasquez? What is it? Happy holidays. Bah humbug. It disappears into the ground. You turn to Caitlin. Don't mind him. He's just a Scrooge. Except Vasquez forgot the part where Scrooge realizes that Bah Humbug is a terrible motto. Kind of funny considering he's your English professor. You'd think he'd be able to interpret that story better. Wait a second. He reaches over and pulls something out of your hair. Her face brightens with delight. What is it? You look up to see the air filled with snowflakes. Caitlin jumps up and down excitedly to run to find your friends, forcing you to chase after her. Oh my god! It's snowing! It's snowing! It's... Whoa. Caitlin runs straight into Brandon and falls on the ground, getting dirt on her clothes. Caitlin! Brandon! It's... Okay, guys, I landed on my butt. I'll be fine. Yeah. No harm, no done, but, uh... He points to the sky. You look up to see a giant storm cloud rolling in. All the vendors scramble to back up the tents. Let's get out of here! But I wanted to play in the snow! No time, Lau! There's a blizzard coming! You all sprint back to the sweep and make it just before the snowstorm begins to rage. Back inside, it's total chaos. You are all wimps. In Maine, this would barely be considered a flurry. Wimp or not, there's no way I'm going out there. Thanks for letting me stay here. Like, we'd kick you out on your cold. Plus, this storm gives us prime cuddling time. What if I can't fly home tomorrow? My sister's been so excited to see me come home. I'm sure she'll understand if you delayed for a day. Let's take your mind off of it, Abby. Who's up for a poetry reading? Ah, always keep Robert Frost poems handy in the winter. Who needs a stuffy poetry when we can just look out the window? I can't believe it's actually snowing. Your friends get louder and louder. Nobody seems to be listening to anyone else. You climb on top of a chair and clear your throat. <clears> throat> Everyone, let's stay calm, quiet. Let's stay calm. I know you're all excited about snow, but there's no need to freak out. Please take a seat. Everyone sits down in the living room. You all take a few deep breaths. Much better. Now, there's no telling how long we'll be here, so... We are all going to need to cooperate, okay? We should play a game while we wait for the storm to pass. Any suggestions? Brandon raises a hand. Well, there's this really fun word game my family always plays around the Christmas time. 
A word game? How do you play? I'll take a poem and replace some of the words with blanks. Then you guys try and take turns coming up with new words. Knowing this group, these answers are going to be ridiculous. Does anyone have a pen and paper? Right here. She hands him a notebook and pen, and he starts writing something down. Zack peers over his shoulder. No peeking. I wasn't. Okay, done. Someone name a holiday. Halloween. Perfect. A noun? Laser beam! Okay, I like where this is going. Give me an animal. Hmm. Tiger. Nice. Okay, plural noun. Christmas trees. A name. <laughs> Ryan Summers. An adjective. Fluffy. Uh, soft. Brandon continues to take answers, including a past tense verb. Um, trying to think of anything other than sneezed, but oh, you know, I'll stay with sneezed. An adjective. Obnoxious. Why would you have obnoxious? Wow, you know what? I'm just gonna go with it. A name. Thomas Hunt? Now, let's see where this goes. Caitlin. Just for shits and giggles. And last one, a noun. Snot? Sn yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Okay, everyone. Here's the poem. Oh, God. It was the night before Halloween, when all through the laser beam, another creature was stirring, not even, an air and a tiger. The Christmas trees were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that Ryan Summers would soon be there. The children were nestled all soft in their beds, while visions of sugar plums. When did we get this word? Okay. Rendezvousized in their heads. James does a little bow. I'm guessing he came up with that word. Oh my god, what is this? When out on the lawn, there arose a clatter. I sprang from the poop. <laughs> to see what was the matter. Caitlin giggles. Away to the window I sneezed like a flash. Tore open the socks and threw up the sash. My poor socks! When what to my wondering armpits should appear, but an obnoxious sleigh and eight tiny dragons. You, Tyler, and Abby laugh. And then the little old driver, so lively and upside down, I knew in a moment it must be Caitlin. So is the sleigh upside down or the driver? Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Poop. And who in the hell is obsessed with poop? And Vixen. Everyone glares at Caitlin. Wow. Okay. On Common, on Cupid, on Donner and Bob. Always a classic. To the front porch, to the top of the snout. Snout? I think it is. Not snot. It's either snot, snout or snot. Oh my god, I feel illiterate. It's late. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. Everyone applauds as Brandon dips into a lavish bow. Truly, a work of literary genius. I loved how oddly fitting James Rinduviest was. Caitlin kept saying poop. Awesome my words were. I loved how Caitlin kept saying poop. Chris makes a mock <laughs> disgusted face. You would think that, Mizumi. Caitlin hugs you. And this is why we're best friends. Speaking of best friends, do you think we could open our secret Santa gifts now? What does that have to do with secret Santa? Well, secret Santa is the thing you do with your best friend, right? 
Okay, it's a, it's a stretch. But we can please just unwrap our presents now? I don't see why not. I wish we would have known James and Brandon were going to be here. Sorry we don't have anything for you guys. Brandon puts his arm around Zack. Zack's presence is the only present I need. And don't worry about me. Just happy to be here and not outside. James, you can be Santa. Oh, no, that's all right. Caitlin starts clapping in time as she chants. Santa, Santa, Santa. Santa, Santa, Santa! Okay, okay, I'll play Santa. Everyone cheers as he walks over to the tree and picks up a small square box. Ho, 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 what do we have here? This one is for you, Mizumi. He hands you the gift and you unwrap it to reveal... A box of tissues? You reach inside and feel a bunch of pieces of paper. You pull one out. Dollar bills! Very cute! Okay, so now you have to guess who gave it to you. Um, I don't know. Come on, just guess! Okay, I think it's... I don't want to insult anybody, but at the same time, why is it a bunch of dollar bills? Caitlin. You would think I would waste a box of tissues for that? Nope, it's someone else. Okay, what about... Nope. No way I'm that creative. What? Alright then, maybe it was... Doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Zack. Yes, it's me! You guess the secret Santa on the third try. You give Zack a hug, and Abby takes a picture of you two. James picks up another present. Ho, ho, ho! This one's for Chris. He's up on the nice list. Soon it's Caitlin's turn to open them. Come on, I wanted to see his gift! The gift that you got her, she quick starts picking at the sparkly wrapping paper around her tube-shaped package. This is almost too pretty to, pretty to rip. Almost. She tears it open to reveal a poster. She unrolls it, and it reads, Aw, everyone, look at this! She holds up a poster of two kissing zombie girls with the caption, I heart you more than human flesh, with a human heart for the heart. This could only be from Mizumi. Guilty as charged. It's perfect. And very true. Kaylin goes over to where you're sitting, bends down, and gives you a kiss. I heart you more than human flesh, too. Smile for the camera! The two of you hug while she takes a picture. Oh, oh, oh. Last but not least, we have a gift for a little girl named Abby. He hands her a pretty gift bag, and she pulls out a pair of mittens you helped choose. Oh, Tyler, are these hand-knit? They're lovely. How did you know it was me? Either I'm psychic, or else you were the only one left. I'm gonna choose to believe it's the former. I have a picture of Tyler and Abby, together by the tree. Ho, ho, ho! That's the last of the presents. Merry Christmas to all and to all a good night. So I can stop being Santa now. Oh, all right. But that was a really good impression of him. Thanks. It's been a few years since I did any acting. Gotta know I haven't gotten rusty. Oh my gosh, it's almost six. Where's the remote? Tyler starts searching frantically for the remote. Zack holds it up. What's it, six? The premiere of Lightning Bug Holiday Special! The premiere of what? The Lightning Bug Holiday Special! I, I heard you. I just can't believe that you'd actually want to watch the Holiday Special of a show like Lightning Bug. 
Have you ever seen anything involving spaceships in Christmas that wasn't terrible? No, you haven't, but because they just don't mix. But it's one of Tyler's favorite shows, and it could still be fun. We should watch the special? Because someone else on my window was just screaming, and I don't know what the fuck to do. Um, it might be important, <laughs> might be important to plot. It's gonna be hilariously bad. Aw, oh, yes! I'm the queen of snarky commentary. Abby? Abby gives him a playful shoulder bump. I don't sit on there for a minute because I'm still hearing the yelling. Anyway, come on. You know I love lightning bug. This is... a premise is a bit absurd. All right, fine. But I have one demand. If we're going to be picking this special part, I'm going to need a drink. You know, I think I might enjoy this after all. Zach walks over to the kitchen and opens up the fridge. Hey, guys! We totally forgot about the eggnog! Zach pours everyone a glass, and you all get cozy in front of the TV. Think there is room for one more on this couch? I'm sure there is. We'll just have to squeeze and really tie it. You scoot over to make room for Caitlin and put your arm over her shoulder. She could have sat on your lap, too. I know holidays have barely started, but I'm calling it now. This is the best Christmas ever. Because of the snow? Well, I was going to say that. It's because I get to cuddle up with a beautiful girl, but the snow doesn't hurt either. You're the cutest. Kiss me. You oblige with a playful kiss on the nose, followed by a few more on the mouth. Guys, shh! I'm trying to watch the show! Aw, give it up, Tyler. Looks like we're the only really ones playing attention. She points to Zack and Brandon, who are making out in the armchair. Actually, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm loving this! I forgot just how bad... Or something... Ah, I tongue-tied this one. How much fun, so bad, it's good stuff was. The rest of the show is all way better, I swear! Oh, come on, admit it. You're having as much fun with this as the rest of us. Okay, yeah, the robot ranger are a bit... Suddenly, the show is interrupted by a burst of static when a weather map appears on the screen. Uh, attention, this is a fair weather weather. All people in heartfelt and surrounding communities are urged to stay indoors until further notice. Me. <laughs> what? But I need to get home! Abby, it's alright. The storm will pass soon enough, and then we'll be able to get out of here. But what about my sister? She's been counting down the days until I get home. I can't be late. Abby, you need to pull yourself together. Why don't you give your sister a call? Abby nods at you and pulls her phone out of her pocket. She looks at the screen and tenses up again. Damn it, the lines are down. Um. Cell phones don't use lines. Anyway, I'm just going to go with it. <laughs> Something must be wrong with the cell towers. I hope it's not a power. <laughs> I just. <laughs> Does she say that the power cuts out? There are a few moments of shock silence, followed by sounds of people running for flashlight and cries of confusion ringing throughout the building. Famous last words? Will you make it home in time for the holidays? Keep playing to find out. Alright, so like I said, we are waiting on Chapter 2 to release. It probably won't be released until next week. We have officially completed Chapter 13 to 13 for Rules of Engagement. And, um... We've got 12 more until we can do... We've already done Caitlyn the Perfect Date. If you guys don't know where that is, um, I can link it in the comments below. We did James the Masqueraded Ball as well. We just did Fresh. No one fresh in. We have 12 diamonds until we're officially able to do Chris and the Luxury Getaway. And then also we do have this to go. 
So I'm going to be uploading that as soon as possible. So I hope you guys did enjoy. And remember to always like, comment, and share my content. And uh, if you're subscribed already, that helps too. But sharing really gets the videos out there and it gets more people to enjoy this content. And it helps out the app maker itself because there may be friends or family that don't even know about this app and they may actually enjoy it. So until next time, folks, have a good one.